Okay, many thanks. So I will just present a bit Professor Jean-Daniel Nicou, who is uh, the father of Smacky Computer, maybe well known for the mouse. Uh, he developed the Depra mouse, which is the origin of all mouse we use today. Uh, it then uh, s um, Logitech started to sell the Depra mouse, and finally they did their, their mouse. And we will do a small interview about, I have different questions to ask to Jean-Daniel about uh, all his life that is dedicated to a lot of different inventions. So the first question is, how do you have to do it all over again? What would you change? Uh, sorry. If you had to do it all over again, what would you change? Well, it's, uh, it's difficult to say because w when you start in being interested in electronic, you continue, of course, with logic, with computers. And uh, once you have uh, started the process, uh, it's so fascinating to invent new, new things, to, to use new components that you, you are never disappointed to have uh, not done some, some other thing. So, uh, okay, it's my life and uh, uh, <laughs> changing the parameters would be earlier. Uh, I've been very interested in, uh, in, micro in planes. I've built plenty of models, but uh, uh, it, I find much more fascinating to use electronic and there's a, a flexible, uh, well, you have seen what has happened. Everything uh, has uh, increased in complexity and every day there was new question about new, uh, uh, new components, new way of building things, uh, new, uh, new te technology. And uh, when the microprocessor pro programming was getting too simple, there was, I was not interested in software myself, but with the robots, plenty of applications of uh, uh, smart uh, computers, uh, neural networks was a big hope, but we were 20 years too early. <laughs> The technology was not complex enough to uh, to play with uh, to do something interesting with a uh, neural network. Okay, so let's continue. So the second question is: You are born inventor, and who were your first guinea pigs, the the first people uh, that test your ideas? Who was the, the people? Uh, how to get the people? And. Uh, of course, when you are a professor, you have plenty of students, and the students have to uh, ask, they ask for projects, you have to propose them projects, and if the project is they are interesting, uh, you get plenty of students, and if the projects are known to be difficult, you get smart students. You get more smarter students, <laughs> When, when it's known that it is new and you will have to invent, you will have to, uh, to, to create. Uh, and so uh, it was my luck because uh, I got really good students. I got also a very good uh, technician, André Guignard, and, and the previous one who was also really excellent. Uh, so I was in an environment where there was enough money, good students, and a good team to, to build things. And of course, we had uh, uh, the printed circuit board, for instance, was a big problem, but we started to make printed circuit board at the APFL because I, I managed to convince that it was urgent to go in that direction. I was of course, uh, the, the first professor interested in PCB, but, uh, and it was a single phase, so we had to invent things to, 
to be able to go to the complexity with single uh, single side, no through hole. Uh, 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 that could facilitate, but uh, okay, we without picture I cannot uh, show, but it was a really good idea which allow us to build complex circuits quickly, uh, because by that time it was months to get a double-sided circuit and very expensive. And in a few days we were able to uh, to wear wrap. It wasn't better than wear wrap for those who who know the wear wrap. Okay, so um, do you think that the mouse or the keyboard will disappear? How do you imagine the computer of the future? Well, <laughs> it's amazing that people using the tablet every day believe that they can live only with the tablet. But if you go to any any place where some work is being done, you will find a big screen, frequently two screens, you will find menu, you will light a book, incredible amount of information on the screen and how to select that information so you need you need the mouse the mouse will stay in the professional way but of course if you're just uh, interesting to, to talk to people to telephone to uh, to play games uh, that's an, a different world so now of course uh, the, the the fraction of time professionally spent in front of a, of a big screen may decrease and uh, people will be more frequently with a tablet than with a mouse. But the mouse, you see what uh, is it, progressing, it, it's get, taking shapes which make uh, the mouse more efficient and uh, the mouse is not dead. And by when we started in, uh, in say in the 72 uh, because I made the first prototype in 72 but we had to wait 80 to have a screen where we could interact with the zoo but we were also uh, studying a different device uh, pointing with a digit and have a um, pointing with a with a small uh, kind of joystick uh, and clearly the mouse uh, was the better so we just had to wait for, for a good screen. Okay, so why Smacky? You did the Smacky computer, why Smacky? Why you did it? Well, I, I started with a Nova Mini computer for teaching uh, how to program a mini computer and uh, that was very expensive. We made a very interesting project, which was a, a terminal of the Nova computer that was looking as a Nova computer. Because I had 16, 20 students, but I couldn't buy 16 Nova Mini computers. So the project was to make, uh, ah, what is a Nova computer? It's a, it's a front panel with switches. And then if you do an interface toward a Nova, uh, the Nova can uh, handle multiple of these panels. Ah, of course, we immediately on the, around the Nova, we, we put devices like stepping motors, like a screen and uh, keyboards and, uh, um, and well, what was funny, the Nova computer has 4K of memory and every student had 256 bytes of memory. This was enough to, to learn how to program. Well, we didn't finish this project. We didn't, we built uh, four units, but not uh, 16 because 
it takes time to develop and the microprocessor will come in and we switch to the microprocessor, of course, as soon as uh, uh, it was possible to have a, a 8080 for 600 francs and not a Nova computers for 10,000. So the first uh, 8080 was 16 francs, uh, 600. So but I will not tell all the story. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's with the, the microprocessor that it started, in fact. It's with the mic microprocessor that it started. And uh, well, when have you had the idea to do a, a smacky computer, in fact? That's the question. Uh, well, well, it was clear. <laughs> The, the, the architecture of a Nova or the mini computer is quite simple. So imagining uh, to, to put this in a, in a chip, the 4000K4 was the first one. I put a student on, a, on the 4004 and he made a very interesting project uh, going to the industry to, to continue this project. But I was not interested in the 4004 because it has not uh, uh, enough power to handle a screen, to handle a, key, a keyboard. Uh, it was a so of course, as soon as the 8080 was announced, this was the perfect, uh, uh, what we have to do uh, with this. And immediately I wanted to have a screen, I wanted to have a keyboard, I wanted to have uh, a floppy disk, I wanted to have everything, a printer. And that was plenty of project we have been working with uh, with students, and just. Uh, and then it started okay. with your question. <laughs> I have too many things to <laughs> to, to tell. <laughs> yeah. So to, to, uh, to tell. another question for the smacky. Uh, you did a lot of smacky. Uh, you never made a smacky that speak other language than French. Do you have an, an idea if there is there was a project to do a computer speaking German, for example, or English? You did a, a computer that speak only French. So the question is why? On, on in the team of the Smacky, there is a lot of uh, Swiss German people. By, 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 by that time, my, my, my students were speaking French. Now it's a changing. <laughs> but uh, my objective was pedagogical. I was a teacher. And I wanted to, to make my teaching as efficient as possible. So I just needed a, a keyboard, a screen, an assembler, and uh, more memory, uh, <laughs> more possibility to connect interface. Ah, I, I was teaching interfacing to microprocessor. No, uh, uh, so what happened, of course, is quickly People were interested with my smacky. They had a graphic screen, so uh, I, the, the first request was to say, I need a terminal, uh, digital equipment terminal, uh, alphanumeric, uh, the Tektronics, you, have, you can see, is too expensive. So your smacky has a graphic screen. I can play with it. And they were connecting the Smacky on a big computer just to have a graphic terminal. So this was my first uh, collaboration with the ATH to sell them a Smacky so they can do a graphic uh, with Professor Nifergeld uh, for those who have known it. Okay, so then the market that, that, that was interested for, from teacher uh, in the French part of Switzerland, of course. And uh, my wife helped to start a company selling the, the Smacky, but it was for local teacher in the French part and uh, in Valais and Neuchâtel and... Okay, so... Happily, we were not interested in the business of competing with Apple and other, Atari, etc., who was doing games. And uh, so the success of the Smacky was because the market was not too large. 
And the people doing the software were very good. They were not influenced by marketing people saying you should do like digital, like uh, Apple, you should do like Atari. Yeah. And they were free to invent what they felt, they, they had the feeling was the best. And if you have a very small team, they have to, to be uh, ultra motivated. Mm -hmm. And they were, it's incredible what uh, a single guy has been done, Daniel Hu, uh, being able to do the documentation, to have the good idea for the, so, for, for the uh, interaction and doing, uh, doing very complex software, uh, as complex as what was found on the, on the Macintosh. Okay, so and, uh, in 2016, we meet uh, with the Smacky Users Group. There is a lot of people from the Smacky Users Group. And uh, the question was, what was the, the motivation behind the Smacky Users Group? Uh, to share the information that was the idea for the SMUG? Well, uh, as soon as you have customers, if they are in a small geographic area, uh, you naturally uh, interact with these people. And uh, These teachers were, were in the French part of Switzerland and uh, EPSITEC was organizing every uh, two, three, five, five times a year uh, a meeting of these uh, professors and, uh, and by early buyers of, uh, of the SMACI. And this was very, very successful. There were up to 100 people coming uh, having presentation from the designers of Epsitech for the new software, I was presenting the new machine. Uh, I was only doing the, the hardware, using the new microprocessor, the new memory, making a board. And then all the software, my, my, my education of objective was to master all the new hardware components and uh, of course the team uh, developing the SMACI, interacting with the teachers was partly former students which I couldn't keep, huh? they had to go to industry so it was really, really perfect, I was selecting the best students working on the prototype of SMACI and then they, going, they were going to EPSITEC and uh, continuing to, to develop, uh, adding, of course, commercial value to uh, uh, the, the, the text editor had to be improved for the customers, uh, uh, a drawing editor, well, everything w which Apple was doing was quickly uh, not copied, it was invented simultaneously. And of course, as soon when we were looking to, to be better than, <laughs> than what was uh, doing by the competitors. And better, it was, it's not the good word. The good word is uh, more suitable for the customers. And of course, accent, you cannot, you cannot work in French without accents. And Apple came and IBM came with accents with, with many years of, uh, of delay. So we were ready from the very first day. Uh. Okay, so, and in... Uh uh, 2000, you created robots. Uh, why this turn? And uh, what was the purpose to to build robots? Mm -hmm. The robots. Why you build the robots ah. in 2000? <coughs> well, of course. <laughs> what, what happened is uh, 
uh, we were developing with uh, 60,000 family. Uh, new memories made possible to have a graphic screen, to have a laser printer. But after uh, internet came, and clearly with internet, the team was too small. And uh, the requirements of uh, communication, etc. This was very big teams are required. And uh, so now the big question was, we wanted to keep the compatibility with, uh, with the, uh, the software. And of course, the cost of the SMACI was getting too expensive to, to continue. So interesting student project was should we put a SMACI in a PC or a PC in a SMACI? <laughs> and we made a board to have a SMACI in a PC with the, the, the connector to play with hardware. With a, and then uh, just quickly uh, it became the SMACI Infini because it was possible to emulate. So you can now on PC use all the software, the Smacky software of the 80s, because there has been never no change on the operating system. But your question was different. But th this was to, to show that for me suddenly I was not interested anymore in PC, but I was very interested in micro. Uh, microcontrollers which were getting very complex and uh, it was a basic for, for, for doing robots so we, we did uh, plenty of robots very interesting very powerful very simple very very small uh, and uh, so I think that was uh, so, so it, it was bringing all the problem of the sensors and uh, all the problem of uh, uh, the communication between robots and uh, okay so that was and of course immediately uh, how can we use neural network with robots to make them intelligent okay so as a, someone who has a lot of uh, doubters Tell us why women rarely choose a technical profession, especially in uh, computer science. Do you have an idea? <laughs> well, <laughs> the, it's easy to understand by that time because uh, uh, the, the culture was completely different. Now, I think there's no more difference from the first age. Okay, there are still some. But clearly, women are encouraged, well, girls are encouraged for 10 years to have uh, um, as easy access to computers uh, as possible. And it helps a little, but not so much. So, I think uh, people studying uh, the, <laughs> the the brain can. <laughs> well, will it? Uh, I'm not sure it will change. There will be the the statistic will come close to fifty percent, to to the same than uh, as men. But the nature of the work, I think, will not be the same. For, for doing engineering, for me it's clear there will never be 50% of, 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 of girls. But in, in the engineering department, there will be 50% of girls. But they will do some... Uh, administrative control uh, uh, <laughs> activity and not uh, 
The, the mind you need to develop hard work, I think, is special, uh, like the mind for for art, like, uh, and it's clear that there are difference between uh, between uh, men and women. Mm -hmm. But you you had a, a wonderful uh, wife that uh, just was the director of Pepsi Tech for years. That was somebody incredible. And she was mathematician. Yes, and yes. She uh, was managing. Yeah, uh, she a was the exception <laughs> <laughs> because uh, she was not a real girl. She she had a, an interest in in mathematics from the very first day. And uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, could it be said? But, uh, yeah. uh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Could be says that the invention of the graphical interface is yours, and that the first Mackey were a source of in inspiration for other competitors, especially in the United States. That's a question. So. Uh, you, you mentioned the Hermet. No, not yet. The Hermet. No, uh, ask again the question. So, do, uh, could it be said that the invention of graphical interface is used, and that the first Mackey were a source of inspiration for other competitors, especially uh, United States in the United States? Especially who? In, in the United States or in America? Well, I. I do not have a good reply for well, this. Um, <laughs> I have a, a second question that is more close to that. Um, there is a rumor that says that Bill Gates has uh, seen uh, once uh, Smacky computers and then they copy the graphical interface for the, uh, uh, the wind file uh, application. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> That's the no, question. No, <laughs> I do not know where you find this. Uh, clearly, the Americans were ignoring all what happening in in Europe and the French was fighting to to try to to to, to talk about their own product but uh, uh, and um, uh, uh, when you, ca you they, they are strong enough and and we we, we did we did try to make publicity about the smacky. It was not our objective. Mm. So yeah, this was not very well known. The smacky computers. We, we had we had no new idea. That's a great idea. We, we had efficient idea. I think that the way uh, our text editor, the keyboard. There, there, there was plenty of small invention uh, uh, on this human interaction, which of course disappeared because uh, IBM uh, showed how to make it. Okay, so um, as a physicist, uh, do you think that one day we will be able to walk on Mars? <laughs> well, I, I do not see a relation. It, it's the human mind. Why, why didn't we, we, we go to, to the moon? We'll, go, we'll try to go to Mars. We'll try to go uh, further if, if it works. Uh, okay, we, we need to invent and to try. And I think it's, it's a stupid considering now uh, all the uh, environmental problem we have, but it's a way to better understand the technology we, we will continue to need. Okay, so uh, anyway, without there, there, are, there are people who think we could stop everything mm. and uh, stay at the same uh, place, but there are others who, who feel that we need to have hard to follow objective to find new technology and clearly now we need better technology uh, to control uh, uh, the, the energy to, to provide us a source of energy and such a project going to Mars uh, imply uh, 
new ideas, new technologies, and a lot of money uh, is required for this. So, uh, okay, we are ready to, to pay for this kind of project. It will help. Okay. And it's a pleasure for many engineers similar to me who, <laughs> who like to, to go further and invent new things. Yeah, but without computer, we were not able to to go to mount to moon to uh, to the space. So it's really important mm -hmm. to have computers. Okay. So, and last question: um, If you have a message to pass, you would like to pass to the young generation of engineers. What would be the the message for the next uh, generation of computer scientists uh, engineers? They, they have to be motivated and uh, search what is the best for for the future. So simultaneously, they have to uh, to find an activity they like and make that activity as useful as possible and continue to learn because uh, nothing can stop today. Okay, this will conclude this interview. Many thanks, John Daniel. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, on the Thank you. So, thank you. <laughs> wow.